Hey you guys, my name is Caesar, and you guys have been asking for this video for two months and I'm sorry, sorry, I can't, I didn't deliver on you guys. I've been doing more and more research on HNT, on helium. We have more videos coming out as far as like setting up more outdoor antennas to maximize HNT. So I am sorry you guys. And uh, this video is gonna be the earnings that you guys have been asking for. And then also the, we're gonna talk about the witnesses like before <clears throat> and after. So I got my brother and I got my friend here. They're gonna introduce themselves. What's up, I'm Patrick. Hey, I'm Abel. So uh, the, the outdoor antenna that we set up, they're actually going halves on it. So that's why I got them in this video and we're gonna talk all about it. So let's get into it. Okay, so just to do a little recap of the video, I wanna show you guys what it looks like because we're sitting right on top of a hill and we're trying to maximize the height. So um, you guys have been doing some more like studying on h &T. The higher you go, the higher you get that antenna and then you get it on the roof. The higher you are, the better your earnings gonna be, the more witnesses you're gonna have. So this is what it looks like right here. And you guys can see we're on top of the hill. It's a nice view and we should uh, maximize our profits, which we sure did that we're gonna talk about in a second. And I did wanna recap and say that we got the LMR 400 cable and it is 25 feet. So that's what, uh, that's what that is. We ran into a few problems with the last setup. We had a lot of comments going on telling us what we did wrong, which is great. And one of the things that we, well, one of the issues we had was the grounding wire. We didn't have that um, put in correctly. So a lot of people uh, came out, let us know what was going on. We bought a new lightning arrestor. We hooked up the cable, we squeezed it in there. You can see it's pretty tight. And then what we did is we make sure we had a lot of slack. We had slack on the last one, but I think we had a little bit more on this one. And once we got that set up, I think we were okay. One of the other issues was that uh, <laughs> Uh, someone kept coming up saying that we, well, at least him, when I say we, this guy plugged in the power before he plugged in the antenna, and that's going to cause some issues. Luckily, we went ahead, we made sure that we plugged in the antenna first and then the power, and now everything's good. So a uh, little spoiler alert, I was going to wait to the end of the video. We do have a couple mining videos coming up, but that is going to be one mining video that we're going to readjust the antenna setup that we did, we're gonna be readjusting it and fixing the problems that you guys let us know. Like we're learning too, and we're just learning as we go. And uh, I appreciate everybody that's given us some constructive criticism, but there's people that are out there that are hating. You guys, I'm sorry, like I'm trying to do the best I can. I'm learning at the same time. Like we're trying to build a community and have, you know, you guys help us, we help you guys, and just kind of be like more tight knit instead of you guys just dogging me in the comment sections. But I do appreciate you guys that are kind of like, you know, letting me learn stuff and I really do appreciate it. We do have like electricians that watch uh, the videos and, you know, are very helpful. And then that's why we're doing this video. We're kind of like, you know, retouching and making sure we do everything right this next go around. Pat, could you share a little bit of your like healing experience? And a lot of people want to know like, where could we get the Bobcat or the Rack Miner? Yep. So, uh, so like most of you, we actually ordered from Cowchip about, I don't know, was it five, six months ago? Probably more than that, dude. And forever. And that, that company's just been taking forever. So I wanted to like, I think we, I think I ordered like three, four of the, of the rack miners. And then I went to bobcat.com and I ordered, uh, like three, four of those using, uh, muggle pay. It was called muggle pay. Yeah. It shut down, right? It was so it was so hard to use that a lot of people weren't even ordering it that way. But it actually turned out to be like the best thing because it was so hard to do that if you actually did put your uh, order through Muggle Pay, then you actually got your miner within like two three months. So I had like six miners coming, so I wanted to at least get like a like a jump on it. So I just went on eBay, and I got ripped off. I bought I bought a rack miner for like forty eight hundred bucks. What? I know it sounds crazy. But I just wanted to like play with it, and that way, when I had six of them come in, I could actually, I could actually know what the hell is going on. So I took that one, and I put it in my in my house, and I didn't want to go on the roof because it was it's kind of a pain in the house in my kind of pain in the house. <laughs> it's kind of a pain in the ass on my house, so I just stuck it in the window, and I've actually earned two hundred and twenty seven um, helium coins so far, which I think. From today's date, that would come out to about ten thousand eight hundred dollars. So I've, I've actually got my money back and then some, and I've gained a lot of experience just like messing around with it. Because I first started with the with the um with the stock antenna, 
But what's not good about that with the rack miner is if you stick it in the window, we live in San Diego, the heat is just roasting that thing. So it cannot be good for it. And then, so I went on eBay and I purchased the aftermarket one. It came with like a, like a six foot cord and then it just sits in the window and it's, I think it's a 4.8 DVI. And that actually increased my earnings and you're able to put your rack miner uh, in the shade area, like, like underneath the window. So it's not just getting roasted. So that's something we, uh, we gain experience on doing it that way. So, so since then, we've just kind of been experimenting, just trying new things. And um, so now I have, I have six, six miners, but five of them are just sitting in the windows because most of them are at apartment buildings. And apartment buildings are kind of a pain in the ass because you don't want to go to the landlord and ask if you can put it on the <coughs> roof. Plus getting it on the roof on the apartment building is a pain in the ass. So I just stuck them in the window and said, whatever happens, happens. And they actually been earning all right. They earn anywhere between like 0.25 and I'll, I'd probably say like 0.60, which is not bad. I mean, you're, you're going to break even in a couple months if you bought that thing retail price. And then if you actually went on eBay or, or uh, I don't know if they sell it on Amazon, but uh, <coughs> if you went on eBay, you get your money back probably in about three, four months. And then the coin is going to go up long term. I mean, this is not financial <laughs> advice or anything, but you would think the coin's gonna go up and you're gonna make way more money. So, um, so yeah, so we've just been kind of experimenting. We're, we're new like you guys and we're just, we're just going along trying to help you guys out as we're learning. So I think it's just beneficial for all of us in the community and we're just trying to build a huge network and, and go Helium. Now, I don't think people's think, network. <laughs> I think MugglePage shut down. You can't do it anymore, right? Probably, yeah, now, now, now you can pay uh, with Coinbase. I think give you an option of Coinbase, maybe Binance, I'm not sure, but it's a lot easier now. And we recommend Bobcats over Rack Miners. Yeah, we all got Bobcats. And they come out, they came out with the MNT, MNTD Miner, I think. That one's all right, but I think overall, the Bobcat is, is the best one because they have a, they have a, a utility tool if, you're, if your Bobcat goes down also. And that thing is the most helpful, and that's going to be another video on how to use that. He's going to make it. Um, so, I'll record it. He's going to talk about it. <laughs> so you can still get the Bobcats using whatever pay they got going on? It's still available? Yeah, you can, you can get the Bobcat now. I think you, you just pay via Coinbase. And you can do a transfer that way. And it's a lot easier than it used to be. And and you'll probably get it. I'll probably stay in around like four or five months to get it. Oh, thanks. A little but CalChip is still still a nightmare to get. Yeah, it. yeah we all bought ours at CalChip. At the same time, maybe seventy months ago, we still don't even know when it's going to come out. Like we're still on the wait list for it to come out. So I did. <laughs> so they actually got theirs before I did. I ended up buying mine on eBay as well. But I paid. I think I paid eighteen hundred for mine, and then we split one for eighteen hundred. And my experience is, well, I've been just doing it in the in the window, and I'm in a kind of a bed area with a bunch of of mounds around me, kind of a shape like of a C. And I'm trying to get my mine still in the window, the little one, the little tiny antenna. And it is only connecting maybe to like 14, I think, witnesses. And I'm only getting anywhere from like, uh, it's like 3 to $5, which is, what was it, like 0.1 HNT a day? Point, so, yeah, 0.15, I think. 0.15. Yeah. So yeah, mine's, I'm, I'm in a tough uh, location. Um, I've had mine for the least amount of time. And I've been watching and looking at their setups, how they're doing it and doing, and I'm actually going to be copying some of theirs. And that, that was a, that reminded me, he's the one that found out about mining and all HNT and everything. He's the one that told us, we jumped on it right away. And then, uh, <laughs> so we're still waiting on the cow chip rack miner that they already mentioned. But the funny thing is like, Pat went ahead and he started on eBay and he bought one. So I was like, I can't be left in the I dust. Can't be I bought one. He, <laughs> oh. So my brother was left in the dust while we had our setup going on. And then he finally broke down and got his. Five days. <laughs> I was doing research on Helium for five days to pull the trigger from $500. I sent them in the what group app that we have. I said, or the, the group, what's that chat group. I put in, hey, this is what I'm getting. Here's a video. Pat took 20 minutes to pull the trigger, I think, on 500 bucks. <laughs> Cesar, Caesar then saw that we were in it. He didn't want to be the only one left, so he did it, like, in an hour after. Yeah. And all of a sudden, I'm the one that gets at the end. I'm the, I'm the last one in. Within 48 hours, I had six of them purchased. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I had no experience on the helium. All he had is three videos. And this guy's, like... 50 grand in, dude. I don't even know how much all he in. spent. He went all in. I, mean, yeah, I got my money back and then some by far. So I think it was a great investment. And <clears> I think it's going to pay off for everybody. Everybody that's watching this video, 
I would say even if you can't do an outdoor outdoor uh, antenna like we're doing, just just buy a couple of them, stick them in the window in your best location you can get, and you're just gonna earn. Whatever you earn, you earn. I mean, over time, that coin is just gonna go up and up and up, so. Not financial advice. <laughs> it's not financial advice. It's <laughs> just for fun, but entertainment I mean, it's purposes. gonna work out. I mean, obviously, if you could get outside, you're gonna make the most profit. I mean, that's common sense, and that's why we're making these videos, but. Worst case scenario, you could just put that thing in the window and just get a better antenna that comes stock. Because the ones that come stock, I think are like uh, maybe 4.2. So Bob, Bobcat is a 4, four. four DVI, four. and then Rack is 2.3 DVI. Mm. So um, I like that the fact that Bobcat comes with a better antenna set. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> and then obviously, based on your location too and your terrain, I mean, that that's, a, yeah. that's where you want to probably get a... Uh, higher DVI or shorter DVI, but that's that's all based on your location. So yeah. you'd have to do research on that as well. Yeah. So we all uh, started with the four, and then we started moving up from there. I am gonna be doing uh, a higher one. I'm gonna go from four. I'm gonna go to a six and try that out to see what what kind of look I get. I get like I said, I got some mountains, so I'm thinking this one's actually gonna be a little bit better than the four. And then uh, two things about what Patrick said. So. On eBay, I bought mine off of eBay. You guys, it cost me seventeen hundred. My rack, I bought a rack, so it cost seventeen hundred. But you guys, I've already made my money back and then some. I was gonna tell you at the end of this video, but a little spoiler alert: we do have a video coming up on my setup. So I do have a flagpole setup at my house. I'm gonna show you guys what I bought, how I set it up, all that good stuff. But that is a little preview. And then another thing is uh, what Patrick mentioned is he has a, a pretty cool, like it's a, I guess it's a six foot cord and we'll show you guys pictures. I'll put pictures right now so you guys can kind of check it out in a video. But he has a pretty good setup for like a window setup, I'd say. Mm -hmm. Like um, if you guys can't get on the roof, like like we mentioned, if you're in an apartment or whatever, I, I recommend the setup that, that Patrick has. And of course, you guys, I have a link in the description box. It has everything that we talked about and all the all the setups that we're going to be doing because we do have uh, future videos coming up. This is my boy Caesar. Caesar, obviously, he's the one that's doing all the videos. But hopefully, Ooh. I'm going to be coming out soon with my own um, minor videos and maybe even just indoor setups for worst case scenario people that can't do it outdoors. So, so keep a lookout for me. Hopefully, I'll be uh, I'll be coming out soon. So he has to learn like editing and all that good stuff. But you guys, he has like a lot of information. When he does set up <laughs> his YouTube channel, I'm going to be linking it down below, of course. Thank and uh, yeah, no problem. Uh, don't leave me out. I got a YouTube channel too. Right here. I'm going to be doing some more crypto stuff as well. I got some stuff coming up. And you guys, so like the first video that that I did, you guys, I didn't know it was going to be that great. You guys, I had 50,000 views within the first two months. My channel is mainly about traveling. I got other stuff on here, but it's mainly about traveling. So like when I did this minor video, I was like kind of blown away and I was kind of like, I've been doing research and that's where I've been these past two months, but I also have two other channels that I'm managing. So it's, it's kind of tough, but like now, uh, now that I know that like it's heavy in demand and we have some knowledge behind it, I'm going to be kicking out more videos for you guys. And then my brother, he has a, so that very first antenna video that we did, he did a video kind of like behind the scenes. I'll be linking that as well. You guys, we got all kinds of resources in the description box. Check all that out after this video because we still have more information to share with you guys. Okay, so the main reason you guys came to this video is because you guys want to know the earnings of the outdoor setup that we did. So we're first going to talk about witnesses and then we're going to talk about earning and Pat, go ahead and take it away. Okay, so the first video that we did, um, we actually set up the Bobcat Miner in the window and we left it on there for a week. It took about three days to sink and it earned 0.9, I believe, in, in the whole entire week and we only had 35 witnesses. And that was when the, the healing was low, so it wasn't like a whole lot of money. Yeah, I think it was maybe like $15, $16 a coin at that point. And then, um, so then we we set up the 8 DBI on top of the roof, and our, our witness increased to uh, 117 So that's a huge jump. So, okay, so it was 35 before when it was indoor, and then it went to 117 witnesses. Yeah. So that's a huge jump. And what, what Patrick was talking about is... They only had that miner inside the house, like, you know, the indoor setup for one full week. 
and the first three days it has to sink. So it took 72 hours to sink. So you got the three days, and then the four days of the rest of the week, they earned point, what was it, point nine HNT? Point nine, yeah. So point nine HNT, which, uh, what is that, like point two something? Okay, so after doing the math, it breaks down to those four days, it was point 22 HNT per day, those first four days after it <coughs> synced. And then, um, so it was 35 witnesses right before, mm -hmm. and then it went up to 117 witnesses. So you want to take it away on how much we earned, like how much you guys are earning a day now after the outdoor? So as far as h and I'm not sure, but the, I'm keeping an eye on how much money, like US dollars. And it ranged, I mean, it could range anywhere from $15 to like $30, but maybe like around 22, something like that. And what happens is that the, it, well, besides it fluctuating, every now and then it would just cut out for some weird reason. It has some issue either in the network or I think it's probably mainly just a, a network issue because I don't think we had any power problems. And then, um, like you said, the witnesses are like 100, 170 witnesses, which is which is outstanding. We looked at the map if you use like uh, the web browser, and you can see the houses that it's getting connected to. The only issue is there's a lot of houses that it's not connected to, or a lot of miners that it's not. And we're kind of wondering what's going on with there. So we're actually thinking about maybe. Um, playing with or changing the antenna to see if we can maybe blanket some of uh, some of the town rather than going out for distance and going out you know even further so we're hoping maybe at some point in time getting getting even higher than 170 witnesses but but we are earning uh, 0 0.70 earnings or uh, helium a day which is I got six miners and like I said most of them are indoors and that's the highest earnings one that I have so it's still doing a great job being outdoors. Yeah, it's great, man. Every time I see those earnings, I see that one that we're going halves on, and then I look at the one in my house, and it's 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 pitiful. I'm fixing. I'm working on that one. <laughs> I pay the fool. <laughs> I pay the fool. So when I when we first got into like H and T, and I would watch people do their setup videos and all that stuff, you guys, when they were talking about it, it was at H and T was at eight dollars per coin, right? And then. So when I started watching all that videos and then, you know, got into it more, it was at the $15 mark. So I would watch those videos and they would talk about it was $8. And I was like, man, it already went up from there. You know, we're talking double. So I was like, I was all in. And so now today, H&T is about, what is it, $39? It's 39 but it hit a high of, I think, about 60 a couple weeks ago. So, mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's gone up big time. Yeah, so just in that short amount of time, you guys, it's gone up so much. And then if you guys have been following, they're doing a redenomination where they're going to split each HNT. One HNT is going to turn into 1,000 HNT. So that's supposed to help out, it's supposed to get more people onto the network. And then it's kind of like a psychological thing where you see, oh, you know, HNT is only this much and it's going to have people buying in. And then our HNT that we've been mining is just going to go up and up and up. At least that's what we hope is going to happen. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, it, that's that's happening in the stock market with like Amazon and stuff like that. So we just figured that this is going to happen. This is not financial advice, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> it said if you want to compare it to some, compare it to like a stock split. So like, you know, Tesla's done that a few times and people that have Tesla have been killing it. So if you follow Tesla and stocks and you're going to know exactly what we're talking about. How I'm gonna upgrade my puny little system, my pitiful system, is I'm going to replace the 4 dBi antenna, little tiny guy like that big, and I, I am gonna buy a, I think it's like a two and a half foot, six dBi antenna with a three foot high tripod. I'm gonna place that on my roof. I'm gonna aim it towards the open section of the sea where I have like mountains around me. I'm gonna point it that way and hope for the moon. So we have, that future video coming up real soon. We also have uh, the main video that you guys were talking or that we we're talking about um, the 8 dBi antenna. Um, we're gonna try to to go to a 6 dBi to see if we can cover more area around us because I think we're in a we're in a prime spot. We're actually bouncing over a lot of hexagons, so I think if we if we go to a 6 dBi, we should be able to hit more. But we'll see. We're gonna try it out and we'll make a video on it. And if it doesn't work out, then we can always go back to 8 dBi. But We'll see what happens so watch out for that video coming soon and you guys already mentioned my video coming out where i have a flagpole setup you guys my backyard is like prime because it dips down i'm like kind of on a hill on my where my backyard's at 
and it just uh, overlooks a bunch of houses. You guys, I, I don't want to like do a spoiler on how much I earn, but I earn quite, uh, quite, quite good like each day off of HNT. Like since the re-denomination has been happening and it like clogged the, the blockchain and a bunch of stuff has been going on, like it's been earning less. But uh, before all that mess, well, I was going to tell you, <laughs> I don't want to do a spoiler alert, but you guys, it was almost uh, one HNT per day. So my setup <coughs> is pretty good and I can't wait to show you guys the actual setup. I also have another video coming out. It's called uh, eight steps or eight things that you could do to increase your HNT earnings. So you guys want to make sure you subscribe and uh, we're going to be talking all about that. Maybe I'll have one of these guys featured in that video. And then also I did buy an outdoor enclosure. You guys let me know if you guys want me to make a video on that. I have all the pieces and everything so we could also get into that. If you guys are interested, of course, let us know in the comment box below. If you guys have any more questions, if you guys have anything to add on that we missed, please feel free to do so. Do not forget to hit that like, share if you really like this video and we will check you guys out on the next video. Peace. Peace. See you.